Hello, this is Barry, Kilowatt United 3 X-Ray. Today's demo is the uh, FT897D uh, Daywa Watt Meter, and uh, I'm using a high-power antenna company, 40 meter off-center fed dipole. It's the low-power version. Uh, it's the model OCF40Q, and it's rated 250 watts. It's designed to work on 6, 10, 20, and 40 meters. Shortly I'll show you the SWR curve and it works quite well. We're running 100 watts. We have our 17 amp hour gel cell. Coax is going across. And uh, I don't know if we can see the antenna or not. We'll try to get up there and get a view at the antenna. There's a center, center feed. It's a uh, 4 to 1 Ganella current ballot. Very good ballot. Focus in a little bit. Uh, one end goes over to the back stop. Uh, you probably can't see the end of the antenna, but uh, it's very close to the backstop. We follow the wire up, and we're just up into the tree. And uh, the rope goes over, goes down into the tree. Very easy to put up. Uh, just throw a rope over the branch, throw a rope over the backstop, put the coax up, pull the antenna up, and, and you're on the air. I mean, it's super simple. Super simple. You can make it as a sloping antenna. You don't have to have it that high in the air. It's about 30 feet in the air right now. If you can get it that high, that's just great, but uh, if not, I've seen them work as low as five feet to the five feet above the ground. And this is what the SWR curve looks like. Right now we're on 50, 125, the call frequency, and I key it, and the SWR is around 1.2 to 1, which is very good. And we'll go down in the band to uh, 28,450. The SWR is flat; the needle doesn't even hardly move. And we'll go down to uh, 20 meters. And it's 14,150. Needle doesn't move at all. And we go down to 40 meters. And uh, it's around 1.6 to 1 at 71,25. On uh, 20 meters and 40 meters, it stays well below 2 to 1. 10 meters is an awful broad band. You're talking 1.7 megahertz. So I think around 28,900, it's about 2 to 1. And on 6 meters, uh, it's up close to 51 megahertz where it goes to uh, 2 to 1. Now when I say you don't need a tuner, when you operate it on its resonant frequency range, like any other antenna, you don't need a tuner. There, there's no tuner on this radio right now. And you saw the SWR, which is quite good. So like any other radio, when the SWR gets above 1.5 to 1, yes, you do need a tuner. So I don't want to mislead you and say you don't need a tuner, uh, but some of... Unlike some of the other antennas that claim they're all bands, and if you don't use a tuner, you can't even use it because they're above 2 to 1 SWR, this isn't the case. Uh, this is a very good performing antenna. Uh, I've used it for some time, and today I just decided to set up at Franco Park. There's a 5KW version available, and there's also an 80 meter version. Now, the 80 meter version covers 6, 10, 12, 17, 20, 40, and 80. And e either one of these antennas, for a one antenna do-all, you can't beat the true off-center fed, di off fed antenna. They're not dipoles, they're antennas, the off-center fed antenna. So today's demo is uh, the OFC40Q, the 897 at 100 watts. Hope to see you on the bands. Maybe this will give you incentive to set up portable. 73. Da-da-da-da-da-da.